Hello, and welcome to the YouTube channel for Vantage Point Network Systems. I'm your host, Scott Pickles, and today we'll be talking about using the Microsoft Bluetooth Manager on an MC65 to pair the Datamax O'Neill MicroFlash 2TE Ultra Rugged Portable Receipt Printer. Official supporting documentation for your Motorola MC65 is available at support.symbol.com. Official supporting documentation for your printer is available at www.datamax-oneal.com. We begin by locating what is commonly referred to as the Start menu. It is in the lower left-hand corner of the Home or Today screen of mobile computers running Windows Mobile 6.5. This is identified by the familiar Windows icon and is similar to the Start menu we're used to seeing on desktop computers. Please note that this is not the case on Windows Mobile 5.0 and 6.1 devices where the start menu appears in the upper left as opposed to the lower left. On Windows Mobile computers, we use a series of taps using the stylus to navigate as opposed to mouse clicks. Tap on the start menu. You're now presented with the list of available programs and control panel items. This list is scrollable and makes use of a dragging motion to view the entire list. What we're interested in is the settings menu, indicated by the gear icon. Tap once to access the settings menu. You'll next see the submenu of icons within the settings menu. At the top left, you'll notice the familiar Bluetooth icon. Tap it once to access the Bluetooth menu. Once in the Microsoft Bluetooth Manager, you'll see that Add New Device is already highlighted for you. Tap it once to begin the pairing process. After tapping the Add New Device to begin the wizard, you'll notice the mouse busy cursor appears. This is a rotating color wheel that looks similar to a four-leaf clover. At this point in time, the mobile computer is identifying all Bluetooth devices nearby. You can see that it resulted in finding my O'Neill printer, as well as another mobile computer. If you don't find anything, ensure that your devices are powered on and that the Bluetooth settings are such that your device is discoverable. Also keep in mind that the Bluetooth protocol is considered part of a PAN, or personal area network. As such, the Bluetooth protocol is a short range protocol limited to only approximately 30 feet. When pairing your O'Neill printer, you'll notice that the printer's name is TE followed by its serial number. For those of you pairing your devices in the shop before you head out into the field, this information will help you to ensure that you don't pair to a printer that belongs to another user. If you were to do so, once you're outside that 30-foot range of Bluetooth, your printer would become unpaired and unavailable. Select your printer with a single tap and then tap Next to continue. Here you'll notice that it's asking for a passcode. While the O'Neill printers support Bluetooth security, they ship to you with no security set up. Unless instructed to enter a PIN number by your support staff, simply bypass this by tapping Next. This is where it gets confusing for most. You tapped the Next button, but you don't see the wizard advance to the next screen. What is happening is that the wizard is attempting to form a partnership with your printer. Hold on for just a few seconds and you'll soon see the wizard inform you that your printer has responded with a connection request. Tap yes to add your printer to the list of paired devices. Now you see the passcode box again and the next selection is grayed out. So you're scratching your head thinking, where do I go now? It doesn't make much sense to do so but tap Cancel. But wait, don't I want to finish pairing my device? Yes, you do. And the fact that you answered yes on the previous step means that we've already got our device paired, we just need to finish the setup manually. So by tapping Cancel, we're just exiting the wizard at this point. Tapping Cancel will be followed by another pop-up message that tells you your device was added. So tap Done, right? Nope. We've got to finish setting up the Bluetooth port that your printer will use. It's very important that you never click Done at this point. Begin by tapping on Advanced. Place an X in the serial port box by tapping on it. 
Then tap on Save. You must make it this far in the process for pairing any of your printers. If you don't select the serial port and tap Save, and then go and delete the device pairing, you risk locking out a COM port, making it unusable. Once you've tapped on Save, go to the top of the Bluetooth menu and select COM ports. Then tap on New Outgoing Port. If your printer isn't already highlighted, tap on it once to select it, followed by Next. From the drop-down list of COM ports, select COM port number 7 if this is the only printer on your device. If you have a second printer, select COM port number 9. It is not recommended that you use any other COM ports, particularly those below COM port number 5. These COM ports are reserved for system use. Be sure to uncheck the box for secure connection as we're not using that. Now you can finally tap on Finish to complete the process. If you go back to the top of the Bluetooth menu and select Devices, you'll see that your printer is not listed under the Connected section, but rather Disconnected. If you select your device and tap Connect, you'll see that it immediately disconnects. This is normal behavior, and the Connected-Disconnected status is different than Paired. You have successfully paired your printer and made it available for use. The reason it shows as disconnected is this. Because the Bluetooth radio uses power and we're using a battery-operated portable device, we want to conserve battery as much as possible. The device will only connect when the connection to it is opened by a program such as SW Remote's mobile technician. When a technician needs to print, mobile technician opens a connection to the printer, sends the data, and then disconnects. This ensures that the mobile computer is efficiently using the Bluetooth radio. To exit the Bluetooth wizard, click on the OK button, followed by the X in the lower right hand corner. This will bring you back to the Today screen or Home screen. Once your pairing is complete, ensure that whatever program you are using your Bluetooth printer with is set up to access either COM port 7 or 9 as you have it set up on your mobile computer. If you don't specify the correct COM port, your program will send data on one COM port while your printer will listen on a different COM port. And that completes our tutorial of how to pair the Motorola MC65 with the Datamax O'Neill MicroFlash 2TE Ultra Rugged Portable Receipt Printer. For more videos, please visit our YouTube technical support channel, Vantage Point Networks. That's www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Vantage Point Networks. Thanks for watching.